Good morning, traders. It is, this should be a live trade video. The market is about to open. I've got f about five stocks on my watch list right now. These are all from the top gainers list. Um, the market is open. I don't take any trades right at the open anymore. It's just too risky. And, uh, you know, even when you get in a winner, it's, it just, um, it's hard to hold because you just feel all of that energy and volatility at the open. So I just watch now and um, what I'm looking for is for the stocks to come up to their pre-market high. It looks like this one I marked out a little bit too high, unless that chart could be wrong though because, yeah, there it is. Yeah, Weevil does that for whatever reason um, at the open, the charts go a little funky and just switching the time frame usually clears it up. That's my cat in the background, if you can hear that. <laughs> he just does that. He's perfectly fine. He just, uh, sometimes he goes off in the room and moans. And he's done that since he was a, a kitten and he's he's an old man now, so it's not, it's not like he's sick or anything. So this chart's not clearing up for whatever reason, but got to keep an eye on a couple of these guys that are getting very close. I'm not going to buy them as soon as they break through, but I will buy them on the pullback of the break of the uh, pre-market high. There's a lot of stuff. Might have to get rid of one of these that is really far away just to, uh, okay. So Jagex already broke through. So I might get in on this on the pullback. Let's see what it gives us for an entry. Sometimes, uh, especially when these things happen quickly like that, they just give you one candlestick pullback. So it's a 20 cent uh, range, which isn't really that bad for, well, it's getting bigger, but uh, it's, it's about 10% uh, of the stock, so of the price. What is the high of that candle? 253. So one entry is 254. That's a pretty wide stop. So I might not feel like holding the 2R on that because that stop is pretty big. I'm more of like a 5% guy for uh, <laughs> holding the 2R. Oh, here we go. Here's an entry. 248. Let's see, 248. 248, and then I would get out at 239 if it didn't work out. It's not looking good.
So 25 million shares of mostly buyers here and another five basically. Well, that's a mix, but so that makes this kind of decent uh, reversal potential. Highs 230. Nope, the candle is a little different than it appeared. 234.8, so. another 20 cent range so if it hits 230 I could get in and then my stop would be 219 There's 230, 230, my stop's 219. So we'll call that a 10 cent range. And I uh, just wanna keep an eye out because this thing looks like it's gonna go soon too. Might get stopped out here. If I see 218, I stop out on this one. It's looking promising still. If I see 239 or, or very close to it, I'm going to sell half. Looks like there was a little resistance at the top of that candle at 235. There it goes. I'm going to sell half there. I got to keep an eye on this guy now, too. Same thing happened this morning in the pre market. I was in, in two stocks at one time. <clears throat> and uh, yeah. Ooh. If this thing breaks 122, I'm going to get in. I got to keep an eye on the other stock as well. Tricky stuff. We take another half out there just because I'm, I'm talking about getting into another position here, possibly. Should put well, it's a little early to put in a stop order right now. Oh, you know what? I think I really screwed this one up because, uh, I was calling it a 10 cent stop and then I took profit at 1R instead of 2R. <clears throat> See this thing breaks 122, I gotta get in. There it is. Okay, I'm in there and then my stop will be uh, 113.
So that's nine cents. So two R is 18 cents. So 142 uh, is 2 R. So it looks like it might come down to my entry, in which case I'll sell the rest because I don't want to give back the profit I've already made. All right, this one I think I'm going to take half off again, considering I'm in two stocks. Secure some profit. Take out half again just because it came back down on my stop on my entry. I'm gonna get out all there. Just don't want to risk giving back all the profit there. And the same thing here. This is now over. All right. So these things could continue higher, but uh, you know, being in two stocks at the same time is a little bit stressful. So uh, I I just didn't feel as comfortable going all the way to two R with these guys or trying for two R. So that was two trades. I took two trades in the pre-market. Um, I'd really just like to stop there because I, I just have enough funds for six trades. I, or I divide my account up for six trades a day. And uh, this way I can take two trades, up to two trades in the aftermarket. So I think we're all done for today. So that was a nice quick day. Let's see what we did there. So Jagex I traded earlier in the pre-market. So the numbers going to be bigger than it actually is. I, I was up $3 and I think 11 cents after the pre-market. So uh, made a little over $3 and change. Let's see. All right. So I think I was, I think I made a dollar 11 off of that in the pre-market. So uh, pretty much doubled it a little bit more. And oh yeah, I didn't even realize that was the one I traded. I was thinking I was in check. Yeah, and then two thirty off that SYN trade. So not bad. I mean, considering again, these are like a forty dollar trade. So that's that's a um, five percent, a little better than five percent return on that trade. And and it really wasn't like the best trade ever or anything like that because. Uh, you know, came back down on me pretty hard and stopped me out. So, uh, and there it goes higher. So I would have been better off to hold it. But uh, yeah, I mean, you saw what was going on. I was in both of those trades. So that's kind of advanced for me at this point. <laughs> so anyway, all right. And look, I mean, this is really like one, it looks like one long uh, extended move. The only reason I, I got in was because it broke the uh, pre-market high. And it gave me a pullback right here on this candle. So uh, so to me, that's kind of part of a new move because it broke through the pre-market high. I think that gets a lot of people excited about the stock and uh, brings in a lot of buyers, which you can see from this candle to this candle, you had 300,000, or sorry, 600,000 more buyers. Then here was the little pullback and then another 2.3 million shares traded here on this one. So, uh, yeah, I mean, they weren't like perfect, you know, home run type of trades by any means, but good enough. This one might have done better if I waited till it came back up through the pre-market high. That was a little bit of a, of a risky trade there buying this reversal. But um, I know a lot of people are watching this thing right now, so 
there's like a perfect three bar play set up, but you know, again, below the pre-market high. So a little bit less chance of, uh, of breaking through there. <clears throat> if this thing gets back up through the pre-market highs, it, you know, it's almost guaranteed to explode. Tempting to uh, take a third trade, but I think I'd rather wait for the fresh meat of the aftermarket, maybe getting something new and early. So I think that's the plan. <clears throat> so this is for the day I'm up 664 over 1.25%. If I get 1% a day, I'm thrilled because this is a cash account and I can only take a few trades a day and, and you know, $40 per trade. So you know what? I think I'm actually going to call it a day period and not, um, well, I don't know. I, I don't want to say that and then change my mind later on. I, I Knowing me, I'll probably open it up at, in the aftermarket and see if there's any good opportunities. So we'll see, see what happens. But I'm pretty happy with that, <clears throat> that gain for the day. So, all right, guys, I'm going to cut it off here and uh, I will see you in the next video. And I hope you guys are trading well, following your plan, following your strategy, and always take your stop losses. Always. Take care.